Hey everyone, welcome to our last section. It's the last one. Oh, I want to just stay doing this forever with you guys. Um, we're, we're looking in these last few days at what's the point of this whole exploration. And it's a great question um, because <laughs> until we get to the place that there is absolutely no point <laughs> whatsoever. We're, we're still caught up in an idea of ourselves and how things have to be. And it's that very idea that is, is causing the suffering and is preventing us from actually living the whole point of life full stop. Let me explain that. When we... When, when we are believing this idea of who we are and we're believing all the things that we think we need to have in order to be okay or the sorts of experiences that are okay or not okay, the, the emotions that are okay to experience or not, when we're, when we're fully in that, from that place, this exploration has has the point of creating a life for us that is the one we believe we need to have and it and and so we what we what happens is we we see the freedom and joy and peacefulness of of that is possible through this exploration and we hear about it and we read about it. And the, and the idea of self, the separate self, looks at its life, it looks at itself, and it says, I want that, that's what I want. I'm, I'm feeling low or depressed or um, miserable, and I want that causeless joy. That's, I, yeah, that's the point of this exploration for me. Or it, it looks at the restrictions that we see around us, the responsibility or the the limits and it says yes i want that freedom i want that unlimited freedom that's why i'm going to study this or it looks at um yeah the anxiety that we have our nervousness our feeling on edge our insecurity and it says yeah you know bring it on give me that deep peacefulness of true nature that's that's what i need and, and the crazy thing is that to, and it's, it's like, I don't know, it feels like some sort of portal we have to go through, like through the back of the wardrobe into Narnia, where it's only, it's only by seeing that we can be okay with all of that that we, we can experience any lowness, we can experience any amount of anxiety, we can experience any amount of limits and restrictions because we see that all that is, is, is experience made of thought. That's our way through. And so we're, we're in this situation where that that place of of no resistance total openness complete bring it on the whole lot i want the whole lot i want every i'm open to every horror film that my mind can come up with i'm open to the most extreme of of lowness or the most terrifying of anxiety I'm open to it because it is that very openness that is the freedom and it is the peacefulness and it is the causeless joy because it's only, it's only the idea that we need to resist and we need to protect this self, we need to manage and control allow some things in, push away others. It's, it's only that that is keeping us in this idea of self. 
and when we and when we give that up when we when we really say i'm open to it all there is there is literally no point in this exploration as in order to change any of that there's no point there's nothing i need there's nothing that must be different there's nothing that's not okay for me to experience it's it's mm. that that's that's it that is us in true nature that's it and um and it makes total sense it's really logical because the the freedom is is that freedom of of openness to all experience it's 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 the ability to watch this body go into any situation into any interaction with anyone without any resistance to any of it without any idea of self that needs has a guard up or or is like is projecting ideas of how badly this could go and and so that is the freedom the freedom lies in in that openness to all experience and so does joy so does this ecstasy that we talk about it it lies in seeing that we could survive and be totally at ease with the worst depression imaginable. And, and, the, and the peace comes from seeing that we could, we could live the rest of our lives in a state of high anxiety. That's the peace. And it's, it sounds crazy, I know, when, when we've spent our lives, our whole entire lives, looking for all of that, looking for our true nature through control and through management and manipulation and avoidance and resistance. And, and in doing that, all we've ever done is, is made ourselves so, so separate and so on edge and so so stuck in this constant state of of searching and looking and yeah so it really means that this whole course has been about seeing there is ultimately no point to the course <laughs> no point in terms of changing the nature of our experience changing our idea of who we are <clears throat> that's that's not the point the point is to see there's no point the point is to see there's there's nothing that has to be different there's nothing that has to change and it's and it's in that space we we fall into that, <clears throat> excuse me, that openness and um, breadth of realness um, that allows that allows it all. Yeah, it's such it's such a huge one, and it's why it's why that that looking on behalf of the separate self on behalf of this idea of who we are this this idea that can't bear to feel what it's feeling can't bear to experience what it's experiencing any any conversation or inquiry from that space only only leads to to more stuckness more um more resistance, more, more, more trying, more exhaustion. And, and any, any inquiry that comes from, that really goes into the center of these things, that goes that through opening up to them, like, what is this anxiety that I'm really feeling? What's, what is it? What's in the middle of it? Can, can I, can I be with this? forever can i can i not have 
any resistance whatsoever to this because I'm inquiring into what it is and I'm seeing it's not there. There's nothing there. And there's also no me even that has it. As I inquire deeply into that, I'm, I'm, I'm dissolving. The inquiry is dissolving what looks apparently real and showing it for what it really is. Um, it's so huge, it's so profound, and it's so completely opposite to the way, you know, so, so innocently and so with so much good intention, we're, we're trying so hard and, and we are literally running at a million miles an hour in the, in the opposite direction of peace and freedom and happiness when we're when we try we try and get rid of it we try and change it all and we try and resist it and and we're just heading far 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 away from who we really are so that's that's it really and then and the crazy thing is is that in seeing there's no point we 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 access a life beyond our wildest dreams. That's, that's the crazy thing. And we have to, we really have to see that that life beyond our wildest dreams is, is what is right now. It is the anxiety, it is the depression, it is the restriction, it is the experience that we absolutely don't want. That's we see it, we, we see that, we see the nature of it and the, the, the miracle of, of, of an experience that can come about from nowhere into the awareness that we are. And, that's, and that, that's the switch, that's the shift that we make. And from there, anything that comes in Is, is just evidence of the, of the miracle that we are and, um, and not evidence of this idea of self that we have that, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the amazing thing. Yeah, so there we go. It's, it's huge, that one as well. well. We'll explore that over the next few days and I look forward to hearing what you think. All right. Love you. Bye.